Tony Barrett was sworn in at the White House last night. Let me play for you the critical two cuts at the beginning. Donald Trump, cut number nine. Very popular in this nation. <laughs> People have been watching them and loving them, and they're watching right now back home in Indiana. Thank you very much. But I speak to everyone when I say that the Barrett family has captured America's heart. It is highly fitting that Justice Barrett fills the seat of a true pioneer for women. It's Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Tonight, Justice Barrett becomes not only the fifth woman to serve on our nation's highest court, but the very first mother of school-aged children to become a Supreme Court justice. Very important. Over the past few weeks, the entire world has seen Justice Barrett's deep knowledge, tremendous poise, and towering intellect. She answered questions for hours on end. Throughout her entire confirmation, her impeccable credentials were unquestioned, unchallenged, and obvious to all. Justice Barrett earned a full academic scholarship to Notre Dame Law School, graduated first in her class, and served as a clerk for Justice Antonin Scalia. She was a beloved professor at Notre Dame Law School for 15 years before I very proudly appointed her to the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit in 2017. The American people have been profoundly impressed to learn of her achievements, her compassion, her generosity, her faith, and her sterling character. Justice Barrett made clear she will issue rulings based solely upon a faithful reading of the law and the Constitution as written, not legislate from the bench. The equal, impartial, and constitutional rule of law that we enjoy every day in America. Every day in America, and he went on then to the ceremony cut number 10. That we all love. We ask God to give you wisdom and courage. I know you will make us all very, very proud as long as we are loyal to our founding and to our fellow citizens. America's future will be bright. America's destiny will be great. And America's people will forever and always be free. I now ask Justice Thomas to administer the oath. Thank you very much. bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. The duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God.
Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you all for being here tonight. And thank you, President Trump, for selecting me to serve as an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. It's a privilege to be asked to serve my country in this office, and I stand here tonight truly honored and humbled. Thanks also to the Senate for giving its consent to my appointment. I am grateful for the confidence you have expressed in me, and I pledge to you and to the American people that I will discharge my duties to the very best of my ability. This was a rigorous confirmation process, and I thank all of you, especially Leader McConnell and Chairman Graham, for helping me to navigate it. My heartfelt thanks go to the members of the White House staff and Department of Justice who worked tirelessly to support me through this process. Your stamina is remarkable, and I have been the beneficiary of it. Jesse and I are also so grateful to the many people have supported, who have supported our family over these last several weeks. Through ways both tangible and intangible, you have made this day possible. Jesse and I have been truly awestruck by your generosity. I have spent a good amount of time over the last month at the Senate, both in meetings with individual senators and in days of hearings before the Senate Judiciary Committee. The confirmation process has made ever clearer to me one of the fundamental differences between the federal judiciary and the United States Senate. And perhaps the most acute is the role of policy preferences. It is the job of a senator to pursue her policy preferences. In fact, it would be a dereliction of duty for her to put policy goals aside. By contrast, it is the job of a judge to resist her policy preferences. It would be a dereliction of duty for her to give in to them. Federal judges don't stand for election. Thus, they have no basis for claiming that their preferences reflect those of the people. This separation of duty from political preference is what makes the judiciary distinct among the three branches of government. A judge declares independence not only from Congress and the President, but also from the private beliefs that might otherwise move her. The judicial oath captures the essence of the judicial duty the rule of law must always control. My fellow Americans, even though we judges don't face elections, we still work for you. It is your Constitution that establishes the rule of law and the judicial independence that is so central to it. The oath that I have solemnly taken tonight means at its core that I will do my job without any fear or favor, and that I will do so independently of both the political branches and of my own preferences. I love the Constitution and the democratic republic that it establishes, and I will devote myself to preserving it. Thank you. What more could you want, America? I love the Constitution and the Democratic Republic that it establishes. Justice Amy Coney Barrett, there is now a six to three Supreme Court, meaning six Republican appointed members, three Democratic appointed members, but they all do their best. It's just a new court. It's a brand new, call, call it Roberts Court 2.0. We need to get litigators in cases before it. We need the Alliance Defending Freedom fully funded and in the field. They're 11 and 0 since 2010. Now I think they're going to be 25 and 30 and 0 over the next 10 years if you help them. If you go to HughHewitt.com and go to the very top, you'll see an Alliance Defending Freedom banner.